Ah, uh, yes, as promised. <laughs> What's up? How was everybody? Very well. Good, man. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you here, my brother. Thanks for having me, brother. He's Big been, fan. He's been here a while, Huge so he's probably fan. baked, nice and baked. Are you baked? <laughs> yeah. You baked yet? Yeah. Or just halfway? <laughs> just half. Just halfway, yeah. Just like half. Yeah. I figured you were holding back. Yeah. I was hearing I might be chilling with you in something called the smoke box. Yes. The yeah. smoke box. I mean, we're all of us here are fans, so when we heard you were coming, you know, it was like, damn. Awesome. This fucking guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, dude, it's funny because I guess over the years now, I mean, obviously Adam and I, our whole camp worship you guys. And, yeah. Uh, like what you guys, Cypress Hill. And Adam, you know, we were good friends uh, back in the day. Like, you know, we'd see each other a lot and he, you know, he was always really cool with us when we did a Saturday Night Live with Shannon Doherty. Yeah. You know, how they do the after the show hangout and stuff like that. Yeah. He was really cool. Yeah. And he resembled our manager. So, we, they, you know, it was always like a... The, you know that common thing we always used to joke about he looked that, like our manager right, our manager yeah. was name was happy and he happened to have the company happy madison oh, yeah, that's, funny. Yeah, that's so tri that's trippy trippy right yeah <laughs> full circle happy happy madison how'd you link up with uh, adam and all that and, dude and get uh, that all going was i it? was a pa on the larry sanders show actually okay San, really? San, yeah and sandler showed up to play hoops one day <laughs> and we were, I was like, he could ball huh yeah, he can ball. We play. Oh God, we play a lot of basketball. Man. Right. Yeah, that's cool. That's partially my job. Yeah. Basketball. <laughs> basketball. <laughs> basketball by Dante, the white boy from Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> Not the best. White boys from Hartford can ball though. We're all right. We're all right. We got a little game. I can dish and deliver. You know what I'm saying? John Stockton ish. I can make the free throws to stay in the games for sure. Otherwise, Perfect. you sit for far too long. Right. right. <laughs> so Sandler shows up, and I was like, "Yeah, what's up, man?" He's like. You sound familiar. Where are you from? I said, I'm from New England. I'm from Hartford. He's like, I'm from New Hampshire. I was like, oh. I was like, you shovel more snow than me growing up. He's like, let's play one-on-one -on -one after this. I was like, all right, down. That's cool. Then right away, comedy albums, you know, chilling. Right. Movies. <laughs> Plenty of movies. Oh, God. Yeah. But see, it's funny because Grandma's Boy, you know, Grandma's Boy made like eight cents or right. maybe a nickel in the theater right. you know but right. it's a cult classic yeah <laughs> and it's become this thing where anything obviously cypress hill hits from the bone from everything right. to yeah. the associations with the weed world yeah and mm -hmm. how it's actually becoming dude it's it's hand gonna be legal hand. bro it's yeah hand and, hand and we're hand in hand. hand and you know it's funny it looked at almost by some maybe as we're like some sort of novelties maybe because we smoke weed or because we are our were portrayed like that right. we may not be as smart or as savvy as these folks who who don't smoke right. weed it's a bunch of bullshit that's right. bullshit yeah. i'm telling you bro and it's so great to actually dante the weed dealer and peter dante yeah right you know he's a similar guy to that guy mellow <laughs> obviously i don't mind the sun right. but being associated with you guys with cypress hill and dante the weed dealer are like go hand in hand yeah, yeah. it's great so for me bro I, it's know, an honor to when actually somebody mount. first told me about the flick i was like oh man i gotta go see that you know <laughs> because people kept coming and referencing the couple lines in there yeah and uh when i saw it man i was like this these guys man i love these That's guys funny. yeah it, was... it, it you know it's because it's one of those it's like a stoner flick, but there's a little bit more to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's the cool shit about it. And it's just so goddamn funny. Yeah. Like, all your scenes are hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I was actually, at, at, during that shooting of that movie, I was eight months sober because I was so worried about being naked, dude. Right. I had to, like, work out and I'm watching my diet right. and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <Right>. So, so, <laughs> so it was pretty funny, you know. What was, like what was the first flick uh, Adam put you in? Was it Waterboy? The Wedding Boy? Singer. Wedding Singer. The Wedding yeah. Singer. Yeah, yeah, Wedding Singer. He um, made me the Steve Buscemi's buddy at right. the wedding. Right. Oh, that's right. And I remember the night before, like, the night before I, we started shooting the movie, He's like, yo, man, you're going to get to meet Pushemi tomorrow. Yeah. Got hair and makeup at like 5 a.m., you know. Right. He's like, you need to introduce yourself. Be like, what's up? Because he's kind of your, he plays your best friend and, or your, you play his brother or some shit. I don't know. Right. And, uh, dude, meeting Pushemi. Right. I was like, oh, Red shit. Dogs. Yeah, dude, I yeah. was so psyched. I was like a little kid, man. I was like, <laughs> fuck this guy. 
And he's from Long Island, where I went to school. Right. And I lived like up the street from where my college girlfriend lived yeah, and shit. So helps. right away, that dude, helps. yeah, yeah, it just connected right then. And there. Yeah, yeah. So I right away fell like in love with Bushin. He's like the realest dude ever. <laughs> and to see where he's at now, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? As oh, Nucky yeah. Thompson shit. Great he deserves fucking it. show. Great yeah. show, dude. Great fucking show, and Watch he deserves it. Yeah, right. for you sure. Know? You know, it, you, you. It seems like you guys, when when you guys all work together. There's like a chemistry yeah. there, and I think that's what makes it even funnier. You know, yeah. oh, for sure you can't eat, watch and not feel like okay, these guys hang out besides just right being this movie, you know, together and shit. Yeah, of course, <laughs> night and day, twenty four seven. That's cool. And also, bro, it's like you guys. You there's a respect level we have for each other, so that like your songs or your performances, just like our movies and the comedy albums and the shit we did way back when. Right. You make it the best you possibly can because right. we're homies, and you want right. to. You set the bar this high for your homie. Right. If it was something you didn't care as much about or whatever, right. it doesn't mean as much. Right. <laughs> you know. So you also uh, you do music. Yeah, dude. I uh, weirdly enough, Sandler and I have been in that Adam Sandler jam band together for a right. long, long yeah, time. Yeah, because he plays guitar. Yeah. He can sing. Yeah. Is this one with, with some of the Marleys? With Wa mean? that's Waddy Wattel. This one, yeah. my reggae uh, deal is with. Um, I have. Not a record deal, but I have a uh, band with uh, this guy named Rock Diedrich, who's Ziggy Marley's drummer. You for play like drums, right? I, I sing. Or you sing. I sing and write oh, it all, yeah. And he got how one long, of, so one how of long Bob's original singing? bass plays. Since I'm a little kid. Since you were a kid. I did like musicals growing up. So that's, that's, that's I'm not a comedian. The world right. thinks I'm a comedian. I, I couldn't tell you a fucking joke if you had it on that storyboard right there. Right. I'd, I'd fuck it up. Right, right, right. You know, because, dude, you know, you're funny in real life. Right. I guess... I don't know. I might be. I'm funny looking, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I mean, just, you I, know, that's 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 something that a lot of fans would know that you know that you grew up singing. Yeah, you know that's so that's been like probably your main passion your whole life. It a hundred percent, man. So you're Sandler, not scared to go on a stage and just no, belt it dude, out. Sandler. Yeah, I'll give you a good story about that. When I, I almost shit my pants singing at closing ceremony, <laughs> closing ceremonies of AIDS walk in Central Park at oh that at that cement shell. You know right, where they do yeah, like yeah, Shakespeare yeah. in the park and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a 10, 12 piece band killing it <laughs> on before me, right? Killing it, right? I'm like motherfucker with like two, three singers running all over, oh, around, no. and I'm up next with my keyboard player, and I'm like <laughs> motherfucker, you know. When you get that, yeah. you're like, okay, I gotta follow this, right? Yeah. And I remember the, one of the like the lead singers like, "Yo, man, good luck." When he ran by me oh. off the stage, I'm like, "All right, man." <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> but, it, yeah, but it was cool. I did good. I did right. good. All the black girls in front were all, "Yeah." There you go. See, if so, you can get them to do that, right, you're winning. Right. Especially yeah. in New York, that's a tough place to win over. Yeah. Oh, they'll, yeah. they'll voice it if they don't like oh, it. Oh hell yeah. So, so what? What did you grow up listening to? What were you like your your main influences? Wow. I, mean, I would say, dude, you know what's funny? From all the way from the music I sang in choir to fucking, to, you know, obviously rap and hip hop to Al Green to Dean Martin to Louis Prima, you know, crazy wow, shit. All that shit. Plus, when we were little, look, I'm in my mid 40s. When we were little, we were the homies who got new records from new bands every right, day. Your right, ass, right. if you love music, digging. yeah, your fucking ass was up on that speaker like this, listening mm -hmm. to Ario Speedwagon, mm -hmm. Journey, fucking, <laughs> the, you know, the B 52s and shit. You're like, <laughs> right? I mean, just trippy. So, yeah. Right. That's, yeah. Vinyl. I Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vinyl, man. Yeah, bro. You miss the vinyls? I do, man. I do. You, you know, it's funny. You probably I probably got a big collection. Yeah, man. I do. And I miss the artists, too. You know, because yeah. what I do get to do when I am playing with Adam, fortunately, is like Wadi Wattel always gets us guests to play with, like Jeff Lynn and wow. Jackson Brown. That's and sick. Blondie. And when you get to play with those fools, you're like, <sighs> yeah, that's another level. Old school that's shit. Yeah. If, you got Deborah right Harry, there. if you're chilling with Debbie Harry, you're like, okay, I'm doing something. That's right. iconic. Yeah, that's the first that's Madonna. Sick. That's, she, that's and Deborah she's Harry. The re and she sounds like she's a tough bitch from New York. Right. She, she could still, she could cool still sing her ass off. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, she could still belt that shit out. Wow. Oh, yeah, you get chills rehearsing with people like that, man. Yeah. You know? Who would you like to work with that you haven't? You know what? It's funny, dude. I have Musically. I love, I'll tell you right now, I sang every year. I get the, the good uh, fortune to sing with Jerry Cantrell and Sean, wow. the two remaining members right, right, of right. Alice in Chains. I, we know Jerry. Me and yeah, me know good, Jerry. good, good, good. Great guys, guys right? Yeah. yeah, and Chris yeah. Cornell's a good buddy, too. I know him. But, right. dude, honestly, playing with those cats... I love singing that. I would, would, and they Rooster. Can sing. Yeah, Bro, and totally. yeah, Jerry can sing the, the harmonies harmony perfect. Yeah, yeah. perfect yeah. And he and I like singing the same mic and shit. He's fucking juicy, right. man. Hey, so have they asked you, have they ever asked you to do Camp Freddy yet? 
They have not. Oh, man. They got to ask you to fucking do yeah, Camp Freddy. Cool. We got to put that in their ear, Dougie. Yeah, because they've had, what's his name? The other actor uh, slash comedian or whatever. Hal, Hal Sparks. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. yeah that's right. Hal Sparks. Before, is, he went so, up there yeah. and did Sabbath. It wouldn't be, oh, out, did of, it? It yeah, wouldn't be out of the box. Sab- he can kind of sing. Nectar. You know? I covered changes. Yeah. I covered changes with my keyboard Bowie? player, that kid who. Uh, Bowie did No, no, no. Uh, oh, no Black the, Sabbath. The Black oh, Sabbath oh, changes. Oh, Sabbath. Right, right. With Who's, wait. That, yeah, that's the right. The old school that's one, bro. Cool. I, I, it's, on, uh, it's on my Facebook page, page, Peter Dante Facebook page. I'm telling you right now. It with Dil- Dermot Mulroney playing the cello, no bro. No way, that's crazy. Juicy. Homeboy that comes in, bro. The cello? Homeboy comes in with <laughs> oh, his no. cello from like when he was 14, <laughs> all scratched up and fucking beat up and shit, Dermot and he's all Mulroney? Dante. Yeah, yeah. And Dermot's like, dude, thanks <laughs> for inviting me in to you know lay down this track, and I'm all, that's bro, crazy. thanks for bringing your cello. And he was so good at it, I was like, yo, you got to do a cello solo. So I added, I added a cello crazy. solo in the Bridge of Changes, bro. That's by great. Dermot I, Mulroney. Hey, we got, we got to find that shit. Yeah. Hey, you got to find that. Cheeky. I tell that's people, great. I'm like, yo, that's Dermot Mulroney right there, that's bro. Listen to this cello solo. No, yeah, you got to do the Camp Freddy thing, man. Oh, yeah, 100%. You, oh, motherfuckers would flip out if you came yeah, up there would. and just belted it the fuck Kill out. It. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing some rapping, too, recently with Sid oh, really? Wilson over yeah. Yeah, at Moonbase Studio. <laughs> nice. Me and him and Otep Shamaya, I think, are going to do, we're doing a track together right Beautiful. now. Beautiful. That's tight, man. And doing some, you know, stuff with those cats. They're really talented. So you're going <laughs> to do some more music. You got, you know, pretty much music is... A lot of music is in the future for you. I think so, bro. I believe that you guys can you touch so many more people up there. Right. And it's not about being separated from them because the way you perform, I've seen you many times. You guys are sick. You and Thank Sin you. are nasty. Um, you connect. Right. Like we are here, right? Right. right the second you connect with your crowd. You connect with your fans and people, you know, that changes people's lives. Right. It does. We're it's about a- to change our fucking... Heads. Or a situation. <laughs> hey, so uh, we covered who you'd like to work with in m- musically. How about in the acting world? Who would you like to like share the screen with? Danny McBride. Really? Oh. <laughs> That's hey, a good combo. That is a good what a combo. Smart fucker. Hell yeah. I is think he, me and him would be pretty damn funny, I like a buddy be cop comedy. Because there's, there's be six great. degrees of separation there, right? right? I mean, you guys have worked with a lot of the same people. Mm-hmm. You guys just haven't really worked together yet. Oh yeah, him and Swartz are like best friends. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be a good combo, though. You guys would be that. fucking hilarious. That's great. Jesus Christ. He's real, bro. I mean, you guys are it, uh, hilarious individually in your separate roles that yeah. you've played, obviously. But yeah, you two together, that would be oh, fucking Oh, dude, he Phil. would be the best. Imagine kind of being the straight guy to right. him. Right, right. Exactly. You know, that's like the old school shit, too. He's the over-the-top guy. Oh, so you get, he's so right. out there, bro. Right. You guys so could remake Smokey to? and the Bandit. I would love that. Yeah, when you guys could be the bandit the other way, you know. I would love that. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> but spin it. Get right in it, Danny. So, so, uh, let, so let me ask you this before Dougie asks you that question. <laughs> um, you've obviously done a lot of like fun type of roles, like you know, like obviously you have fun doing all this shit because it's with a lot of your 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 partners, your friends, and people you connect with. Which role do you did you connect with more? Like out of all the roles, which which one did you have the most fun doing? I would say quarterback in the water boy. Right. Because Adam flew me down three weeks early since I played football. Right. I played D back though. I had like I had eleven picks, I think, my senior year in high school. Nice. Oh, still shit. a record. Shit ain't bad. Right. Shit ain't bad um, at all. Yeah, so uh got to fly down and hold a camp, you know, of combine. Right. And uh pick these dudes who played at Miami and Florida State and all this shit to be on the team so it was real football so and pretending you go back to college and shit was kind of fun right yeah I wasn't in a frat in college I played lacrosse in college but we weren't a frat so you go back and you pretend you're like this frat boy I picked that character to be the one white kid <laughs> right. from either the ninth or the 14th ward down right. in New Orleans right. so that he's like the one white kid in his whole high school yeah <laughs> and just a dumbass obviously <laughs> you know like just, just the way you make fun of him though in the movie is just classy. <laughs> yeah dude when I pulled that one out Sandler was like what the fuck <laughs> 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 what did I do dude making fun of him is just like <laughs> Yeah, bro, I'm I'm being interviewed recently by these college kids who do this show and these bright side kind of cool crew from San Diego State. These kids go, bro, they were going to write your book, the Dante book. What do you think it should be titled? I'm like, (laughs) duh! That would be great. (laughs) Just that. 
Well, those things are dope. We right? were talking about this product uh, you're going to be soon to be coming out with. Smoky Caps. Smoky Caps. Tell everybody a little bit about these. First of all, along are. with the product, will be an animated series. We have one episode completely done with me and nice. a monkey. Nice. Perfect. Not the monkey from Grandma's Boy. Right, right. Me and a monkey and this guy named Chief uh -huh. who lives with me in my basement. But in the, in the uh, animated series, I have it as... Uh, Chief lives with me. I mean, he works with me at the convalescent home. Right. Okay. And we like feed the patients and shit. And if you ever would like to do a voice as a character, yeah, uh, on my show, you are more than welcome. I would to. definitely yeah. do that. Yeah, hundred percent. Hands be fun. down. Yeah. yeah. Well, Smoky Caps is a uh, device that's uh, to help you quit smoking natural tobacco. Okay. It's um got. Uh, it's like a gravity bong hitter. Right. And it's, you attach it to something. You attach it to a water bottle. So any old water bottle you can attach this to. Any size water bottle. Right. Go for a jog, go for a hike, after the gym. Smoky cap time. I love it. Mm, Very affordable. Lot, much like a lot of your cool gadgets that you guys are doing, you make it affordable. Right, right. It's very important, man. People, A lot of people who smoke weed don't have the money. The weed's very expensive. Yeah. Right? Yeah, especially these days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've That's gotten killer. better and the price has gotten higher. When can people expect to see these? And if so, where can they get them? Uh, Smoky Caps will be coming soon. We're uh, getting them through customs right now through China. Uh, right. And uh, they'll be seeing them at local head shops like That's GGR nice. and Beautiful. Hollywood Collective. And then probably some 7 Eleven. <laughs> right on. One in West LA. I got one in Santa Barbara. And then, you know. All of them in Denver. And I'm going to get every single one in Denver, all the gas stations. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you guys in April up at the uh, Tobacco Convention. For nice. sure. I'm it's going on. for all four days. Oh, it'll also. be on. It's going to be on. So I think we might be spending some time it's together. It's going to be a very Beautiful. stony situation. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Watch out, Colorado. You think it was legal then? It's going to be legal now for when real. we get there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's time for video. It's yeah, time nice. for a video. Okay, it so is. before we do that, man, we want to thank Peter Dante for coming up. Yeah, right. Thank you guys. Love it. We're gonna chop it up with Dr. Green Thumb. First of many yeah. times, I'm sure. Uh -huh. And uh, where, where, where can they, uh, you know, get at you at, like, you know, oh, social uh, networks? Like uh, on Twitter, I'm L underscore Pressy Dante. That's D-A-N-T-E. And on uh, Facebook, El Presidente and Peter Dante, the fan page. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's it. I believe Instagram, Sam L underscore Pressy Dante. Yeah, like Presidente, but Presidente. That's right. Spelled like that. Exactly. Is how there it a sounds. website for the? All right. Yeah, like got that. Oh is there a website for Beautiful. for uh, that product you got coming out? Smokycaps.com is uh, the website, and. Uh, you will be able to start ordering them as soon as we get them in. We're going to be ordering them online also, so it's going to be ridiculous. Beautiful. Support it, goddammit. Good Peter shit. Dante, right here. Nice. Be Real. TV. Be Real. TV.